L'Allemagne et le Royaume-Uni ont signé à la fin du mois d'octobre un important traité de défense qui renforce la coopération des deux pays dans les domaines terrestres, maritimes et aériens, ainsi que les capacités de frappe de précision. L'accord de Trinity House prévoit que les armées allemandes et britanniques s'entraîneront plus souvent ensemble dans les pays baltes afin de renforcer le flanc oriental de l'OTAN. Been, for example, the European long-range strike approach, which focuses on developing and acquiring together in a sort of European context long-range missiles that have become much more vital to the defense, um, also the sort of air defense bit of um, European nations uh, in the wake of and also the context of Russia's renewed attack on Ukraine. Selon Aileen Matley, cet accord est un signal politique important. I don't think that this agreement alone will will sort of will be the the, the silver bullet um, saving and helping Europeans to to contribute much more to their own defense and to take care of their own defense. But I think it certainly is a very important step um, in in political um, terms because it sends a message both to sort of domestic audiences, but even more importantly to other Europeans and also to the U.S. audience. Ce traité doit encore être entériné par les deux pays. So the only thing I think is important um, also to, um, to, to bear in mind in this context is that this agreement is not legally binding yet. In order to make it legally binding, both countries are or have announced to come up with an actual, uh, actual treaty that will then be signed by both heads of um, state, by um, German Chancellor Scholz and by Prime Minister Keir Starmer, which as far as I know, is supposed to, uh, to, to be drawn up um, earlier next year. As this happens in every election, it's commonplace. This new pact symbolizes a new chapter in European security. Whatever the outcome in the US election, a stronger, more self-reliant Europe is a necessity. Liv Stroud, in Berlin, for Euronews.